Local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. We're here at Progressive Field in Cleveland where the Guardians are in the middle of a series against the Toronto Blue Jays. And when you're talking Toronto Blue Jays, you're talking about the guy to my left, Bishop Lures grad Kevin Kiermeyer, man. Always good to see you. Thank you, Glenn. Always a pleasure to see you too. Welcome, uh, welcome to Cleveland. Tell me a little bit about this first year with the Blue Jays, man. You got drafted by the Rays in 2010, 13 seasons in their organization. Now you're wearing blue, different team in the AL East. What's this experience been like? It's been so fun. It's been a great change of scenery. I had no idea what to expect coming into this year, but all I want to do is solidify myself within the organization, let them know what I'm about. I like to have fun. I love to win. And uh, if you can do that, it makes for a very fun season. Okay, so you're about the biggest Boilermaker basketball fan that I know. Zach Eady's from Toronto. Do you see a lot of Purdue stuff, or does that give you like a sense of home that there are Purdue fans up there? What's the Boilermaker atmosphere like? I, I haven't seen a whole lot of Boiler fans. I said I wanted to get him to throw a first pitch, uh, and you know, the season's winding down. He's got to get ready for the World World Cup or the thing that he's doing with Team Canada and then he's got to get to campus. So I probably dropped the ball on that one. I regret that, but I, I haven't seen a whole lot of <laughs> Purdue stuff uh, up there, but I'm always repping my Boilers no matter what, whether I'm north of the border or whatever. I can't I can't wait for their, see what they're gonna do on the gridiron. Yeah. And then the basketball, of course, as always. You were one of six finalists to start in the All-Star game in the outfield for the American League. Unfortunately, didn't make it, but uh, we were trying to stuff the ballot boxes in Fort Wayne, man. Like, what was that like for you to be a part of that, knowing that people had, you know, you're a defense first guy and people had really taken note of what you were able to do? Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely different to be a part of. And, and I was I was happy about it. Certainly, I, the, you know, the fan vote definitely helped. I, I thought, you know, there was certainly uh, other guys with much better numbers, but even coming up short, uh, it didn't it didn't bother me because I went I went to Snow Lake up at my up in Angola. <laughs> Had four days to relax up there, and it, and it was perfect all-star break for me and my family. And, uh, you know, up at the lake at my happy place. So it worked out perfectly. Have you added any Canadian lingo to your vernacular? Like a, a take off you hoser, or what's going uh, on, eh? Anything no, like that, eh? I, I try to, yeah, I try to pronounce uh, words the way they do up there to try to, to fit in. But I feel like Indiana, we're, a, we're just a good blend of everything. And, and I'm a chameleon. I can kind of blend in wherever I'm at. You said you're a big Highlight Zone fan. That's what I hear. I'm a huge Highlight Zone fan. Uh, I, I search it on YouTube every week. I'm very nostalgic. I've always loved it ever since, even before I got to high school. Watched it after our games in high school and, and every year since. I'm always watching, always repping. And I promise I've seen every, every Highlight Zone clip from the last 10 years. I guarantee it. And uh, there's just something about it that I love Indiana high school football. And you guys are certainly the best. And um, I like getting my nostalgic feels and watching the Highlight Zone on YouTube. Yeah, but the guy that anchors it is a huge dork. Yeah, they got a couple of those. No. <laughs> yeah, he's not quite that handsome either, is what I hear. That's no, I, hear. I love it. I'm, I'm loyal. You've been loyal to me. Uh, I stay loyal to you guys, and, and I, I, I'm always watching. So it's fun. You said you open up next Friday. I'll be, I'll be plugging in next Saturday morning watching the full show getting my week round up on uh, the high school football. Thing. All right. Well, we'll make it good for you, man. I appreciate right, it. Thank you. Kevin Kiermeyer. I'm Glenn Marini, and we're back after this.